Let's bring in Tammy Bruce now, Fox News contributor in Focus. Um, you know, when you look at what people are going through and the random nature of crime, right. that's what's driving a lot of the fear. And to have leadership at the top not recognize that until polling showed that crime was the key issue for voters, I mean, it's the tone deafness is really, it's painful. Well, and that's it. And even in addressing it, it is to dismiss it. So, yes, Hochul came in. Look, she was appointed after Cuomo resigned. And it's not necessarily the crime that's harming her. It's that lackadaisical, snooty, nose up in the air, smug attitude. It's not the crime, it's the cover up. Yeah, that's Isn't right. that the saying? You know, and she's, <laughs> so she says she was in the, the subway with Eric Adams, mm -hmm. you know, with their armed guards for a minute. 100%. And then they leave. Yeah. So, th this is what, um, you know, New Yorkers and Americans in general. We know that governing is difficult. We know that there's always going to be issues. But my goodness, they, they are oozing contempt. They're oozing this like, like they're irritated that we sh showed up and that we are having a life experience. And for them, it is, a, as Biden would say, a painful transition. In other words, and you know, they use the phrase a lot about breathing room. That's what you say yeah. when you're the mob and you owe money and they say, we'll give you some breathing room for a week before we break your legs. We don't want breathing room. Mm. We want changes. We, we are going to be taken seriously. And I think Hochul is going to find that out today. So where uh, Alexis McAdams just was, there was a little bit more of a robust, excuse me, in-person turnout. But, you know, Democrats are always talking about how well they can do in early voting. Well, the turnout during the first nine days of early voting in New York is overwhelmingly Democratic. Yeah. And it was light. Yeah. As of 8 a.m., 8 a.m., we had nearly 1.5 million. One political consultant telling the New York Post, quote, the lack of enthusiasm for Governor Hochul's campaign is validated by these mediocre early voting numbers. Congressman Lee Zeldin has a higher possibility of winning based on these numbers. Tammy. Yes, this is going to be the issue. Look, every, every race is local, effectively, and it's about getting out the vote. It's about the nature of how you count those votes. And it's uh, you're organizing and the Democrats have had a, hmm. a much longer history of being able to organize on the ground because that's what they do all year long. Right. In this particular case, I wish that the Democrats would be voting because they don't have to vote for the Democrat. Right. Go out there and give someone else a chance today. It's not forever. It can't you know, they can they at least are recognizing that we exist hmm. and we're human beings. So go out there and vote. That's for the Democrats. I think this could be a good lesson of the fact that it's their vote and it can be for anyone and it should not be taken for granted. That is so interesting. And what a closing statement by a Republican candidate, if they would so choose to do that, that, you know, you can change things for the moment yeah. and, and still call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. Right. That, right. That's fascinating. Yeah. My very, very smart friend, Tammy Bruce. Thank you. Good to it's have you in focus. Thank you, Harris. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Cain podcast for full episodes right now.